Yeah, and it's oh, younger looking he's getting. Do you know that? Welcome back. Mm. That was, of course, the sound of Mike Denver, one of the biggest stars in the already booming country music scene, filling dance halls around Ireland. And now the Country Roads Festival at Dublin's Vicar Street. It's accompanying album of the same name is promising to take country to the capital. Good morning, Mike. How are morning, you? Morning, G. Thank Good you very much for having me on. Good to see you again. Good to be back. Uh, the last time we were chatting, we were out in the Radisson that We were cold. We, did, we were cold. <laughs> we had a lot of coffee. We had a great morning. Food. And you were in the middle of touring at the time and you were yeah. really busy. We're touring all, all around, all year round, as I say. Um, we're getting ready now for Vicar Street, which is on Monday and Tuesday night. It's the first time that uh, there's nine, nine acts, eight acts is there. There's eight of us arriving to Dublin on Monday night and Tuesday night to Vicar Street for the first time, I suppose, to have something as big as that, a country show an Irish country show and brought to the centre of the city. Yeah, it sold out two nights. The first night went on sale, the Monday night sold out within, I think, within a day or something like that. But the second night straight on, that sold out straight away as well. But I'm after being told just on the way here, there's a few production tickets after coming available for Tuesday night. Oh, right. And okay. it's, it's very limited. If anybody does want, you can go on to Ticketmaster, you'll get them straight away. And it shows how big and how popular those two nights turn out to be because middle of next week then, they're putting the tickets on sale for next year's yeah. event. They're putting it on sale. They're announcing it on Monday night. That's I think incredible. I think tickets go on sale either Monday morning or else Tuesday morning straight away for this show. It's going. It's more or less the same show as far as I know. Back to Vicar Street for next next uh, October. Make I a great I Christmas think we're present. Good, so good Christmas good presents if anybody wants. I think it's around the 11th and 12th or the 12th and 13th of November. I'm not exactly sure of the okay. dates, but it's sometime early again in November, around this time again next year. So it's going to be. It's great. It's great to see country music. It's booming. It's flying. It's, it's never been busier. And I'd say between all the bands on the, on the scene, we've nearly played every town, I'd say, in this, in this country mind, over the had, last few years. We've had Don Meskin on the couch, Tommy Fleming, mm. we've yeah. had Nathan Carter, it's, Jay Carter. Yeah, it is. It Philomena. is phenomenal, Philomena. Philomena. It's there phenomenal. is, there's so many, there's the so many, there's so many, there's so many, there's, un, there's only a, a few of what's on the scene. The Irish country music is, is buzzing, there's so many great acts but out there. But surely you must here. get a different reaction when you're visiting, going from town to town, county to county. So in Dublin, for example, is the reaction different? Is it, it as it popular? Is, it is and it isn't. It's, it's popular everywhere. I suppose you just have to find the Different, uh, different venues that it suits and it seems to be Vicar Street is the, is the one that seems to suit and I think there's even talks of them doing maybe a, a couple of shows even in, in a couple of bigger venues there's talks at the moment as well so look, looking forward to that it's, it's been big for the last few years I'd say Television and the, uh, says well, the, the media of, the media's the given of, it a different twist yeah. of, the likes I suppose of the series, when you have a series like Nashville Nashville, yeah. That was so big in America and then came across the UK. In, Huge. It is when you see all the acts coming into the O2 and in, they're filling in, the three in, in arena, March, yeah. filling the yeah. three arena for three nights, and that's a huge thing. The late, late country special, Ryan Tuberty has been great to country yeah, music yeah. for the last. 10 or 12 years, there's always been that, that's been a huge show, which has been, I, say, I think it's the next biggest rate to the, the show. Die show, which, yeah, is, yeah. A, which is a but huge thing. But there's an album that's accompanying the gig as well, and of course you are also on the album, there so is, tell us about your contribution. There is, there's 18 tracks on this album, it's from the king of them all, the great Big Tom, who's sadly no longer with us, and Larry Cunningham, to mention some of the some of the great old legends. Then there's the likes of Daniel and Nathan, and there's the three amigos, Michael English, myself, Derek Ryan. Yeah, there's, yeah. there's a never ending this. Margo's on it, so Jimmy Buckley, you, Robert Nassell. I'm doing a Paul Brady track on it. Oh. It's a track that I've I've just released at our latest album. It's a, an album called Enjoy Yourself with. I think there's 14 or 15 songs on that album. And uh, the long, long goodbye was just, I said, we try and find something that was a little bit different that I hadn't done too much of. It's a big ballad for everybody that knows the track. Paul Brady, a, a, an amazing, song. Yeah. amazing songwriter. Mm. One, of, one of the greats to come out of this country as a songwriter. So uh, we've done a little bit of a different version of it. We, we give her a little bit of a country twist and it, it's a lovely ballad. So hopefully when people do get the album, I know that album is on iTunes as well, along with all, all the albums, all that. Mike, where, where do you find the time and the energy to get into the studio? Because yeah. as Studios. you say, and it's, and it's true that you boys tour, you, like you tour what, 40, 45 weeks out of the year? Mm. We do at least. Yeah, we do about 200 gigs. It's oh, roughly around 200 moment. gigs in the year. But so. we spoke about this before, and I said, how do you keep yourself together for that yeah. schedule? But you love the nomadic lifestyle. You love, like you you like love the gig. And I, I, again, everybody will tell you, the travelling is hard. The travelling is yeah. a nightmare for me, for the band. I'm lucky enough, I have a great band behind me, great crew. An understanding I, wife. And, but the, an understanding <laughs> wife. But everybody is the same. Everybody has to do all the travelling. It, it, that is the bad part. But when you get on the stage, something just clicks. It's, it's, it's a buzz. It's like, and as Laura mm -hmm. says, though, do you find, Mike, that from... 
town to town, county to county, that, that there's a difference. Would there you is, like, would is. you adjust your set for a different mm. audience? Yes, yes you know? and no. It depends on the different things. We do a lot of different work. The likes of uh, I know this show's coming up now. We're doing the SSE Arena in October next year in Belfast. That's a huge gig. There's huge. there's uh, Johnny Brady, Lisa, uh, Johnny Brady, Cleona, myself, and Derek Ryan, and mm. uh, that, I know that's a huge gig. That holds up to around nine thousand people. So that's a huge, a well, huge, would you, huge. Would gig. you temper your set uh, yeah. to, to suit a again, again that, like th from from that gig, say in the the SSE Arena or some of the festivals we're doing in Clonmany and the INEC in Killarney, them shows will be a little bit different than when we go the likes of tonight, I'm in the Mac William Park Hotel in Clare Morris. Uh, that'll be a dance programme. That'll be totally aimed okay. at a dance crowd. So you just have to, I suppose you have to adopt the programme to suit what, what, what you're playing on the night. But when I say adopt it, we don't go 100 miles away from what... Yeah, I, yeah. I don't go 100 miles away from what I've done, but yeah. you just have to, I suppose, rearrange the programme a little bit to suit what because you're Because also, you, you'd have a large following of people who specifically follow you around the yeah, country. Yeah, the, 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 you'd have a certain amount of people that follow you from week to week. They know the song, there's certain incredible. songs they want to hear, no matter what. What show you're doing, there's certain songs that has to be in the programme that have been popular over the last few years. They have to be in, whether it's in a, a young people or old people, yeah, they're, yeah. they're still looking for the same numbers. And, like, what strikes me about the genre of the country music, certainly in this country and the wealth of talent yeah. that we have, is that you're incredibly supportive to one another. And does that come with well, touring is, well, and with collaborating in, it, in venues? It is, because this, it's so small. Ireland is so small, you get to know everybody. You're doing different shows, whether it's likes of this weekend or next... Monday and Tuesday in Vicker Street, we all meet up. So is there Everybody any competition? Ever I mean, there has to ah, be well, some. Well, it's like everything. There's always competition. You always want to be doing well, but it's great to see the acts coming in and keeping the whole thing fresh because if there yeah, isn't fresh the people coming in, fresh. if yeah, it yeah. keeps the whole thing fresh and if there isn't new acts coming in all the time and if there isn't good acts coming in, everything fades away and there is no scene. So it, it's very important. It's, I, I love to see new faces coming along. It's, it's a great thing for the scene. Isn't it great but but the whole thing has moved along because the productions have moved along. The but studios the, but have the moved along. the audiences up. are almost matching the performers in terms of its generation. Yeah. You had the likes of Big Tom, yeah. you know, mm. Daniel... You have you guys, then you have the guys underneath you, then you have the, you know, yeah. the Jay Carters and Nathan yeah, Carters. Yeah, you, you have all the... And the audience is the same, because you're playing to young and old. You have young and old. That's we we done a show last night in, down in Banlaslow for a, my hometown, Pertumda, GA, the Hurling yeah. Club. And again, you have young faces, you have old faces, you have everything. That's yeah. that's a great thing about when we do a concert tour. I do a concert tour every January, February, March. And that that's a very young audience. You can have kids from knee height right isn't up to the... Isn't that incredible, Everybody it? comes along. Because they're listening to... When you're in the car with the grannies or in the car with the mammies, the yeah. CDs are on and all the young kids are listening and to it. So they get the yeah, songs. And there's a lovely lyric and there's a lovely there is, tone to country the, music. Again, it's the, easy the, to the remember. The scene is difference. very easy. There's so many people. The likes of tonight, as I said, this weekend, we're in the Mac William Park in Clare Morris and tomorrow we're in the Woodlands in Adair. And that's a... Uh, people just come out to dance and meet and yeah, yeah. socialise. If you yeah. want to have a drink, you have a drink. There's so many people that'll arrive to gig tomorrow night and all they want to do is dance yeah. and meet and chat. So it's a great socialising thing as well. You definitely right. want to mention a special gig. There is, yeah. I, the, I just want to quick mention a, 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 a fashion show. It's a charity fashion show this uh, this Wednesday. Okay. Come on. It's in the Bridge House Hotel in Tullamore. It's for Guy Clothing and Code. They look after all my clothes for the stage and for all these things. So they've been very good to me, Anthony, and all the gang down there. But it's in aid of Awfully Down Syndrome and the Oncology Unit in Tullamore. So that's well Wednesday. Done at half seven, so make sure and call in. There's lots the and lots. The Bridge Hotel. Bridge House Hotel in Tullamore. There's lots of, lots of special guests on it for that. Well, sir, the, the very night. best of luck next week. You are going to be up to your eyes. You'll be taking it to the stage, and no doubt the album's going we to be are, a huge hit well, as well. Well, hopefully it will be now. Looking forward to seeing it and yeah. getting ready now for Spain and Portugal. We've a couple of trips hitting out there over the next couple really? of... Really? So you're heading yeah. over to Spain and Portugal? Spain is, coming up. Spain is coming up in uh, June. The f Second, I think, to the 11th of June. Bring us with you. They're, they're a great week. You can Listen. come along. Bring Born in Ireland. Yeah. Bring, <laughs> <laughs> bring, bring the golf Saturday AM over and the golf clubs, ah, and that's all that matters. That. <laughs> Thanks Good to so see you, Mike. Mike. Great to see you. you. Now, as Mike said, Monday and Tuesday gigs are almost sold out. There are mm. a couple of production tickets left, but tickets for next year's Vicar Street gigs uh, on November 11th and 12th go on sale on Monday. You can check out Ticketmaster.ie. Now, after the break, we've got more festive prints. Fashion is up. See you in a few.